Hey guys, so I have a really awesome video for you today. Quirk Books, whom you may have heard of, is a really awesome publisher. And out of nowhere, they contacted me about reviewing a couple of their books for free. And they were really awesome books, so of course I said yes. The first is the new paperback version of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which I know a lot of you have heard of, if not read already. It's gotten a lot of attention from John Green and Nerd Viteria because he's friends with Ransom Riggs, the author. I had always wanted to read this but had never gotten around to it, so I'm happy to have the opportunity with this. So I don't want to say too much about the plot and give it all away, but basically it involves a really old house, some creepy pictures, and a little bit of time travel. Some of the reviews I've heard of this book said it wasn't nearly as creepy or scary as they thought it would be, but there's definitely some creepy moments, though it's not an intense thriller. It also combines prose with pictures, some found photographs, from the early days of photo manipulation. But you discover that the photos, at least in the story, might not actually be manipulated. I have always really liked old photos, so I really enjoyed that part of it. I enjoyed the writing, the characters, the plot. It seemed very original, though still familiar enough that I wasn't confused by anything, or very surprised by any of the events. But I still really had no idea where the book would end up, even by the end. Overall, I didn't really end up loving the book, but I did really enjoy it. It went pretty quickly. And you may not know that there is going to be a sequel, released early next year, I think, called Hollow City. And I'm on the list to receive a review copy of that one. So I'm excited and definitely looking forward to seeing what happens next. Now the cool part of this is that I'm actually going to give this book to one of you. If you've been around a while, you might have known that I already owned a hardback copy of the book that I found used for a couple dollars. This hardback has a bit of color in it. The photos are still black and white, but I like this one more for the bit of color that it does have. And the paperback is full black and white. So one of you will get the paperback. Plus, this has extra information and an interview in the back, which is pretty cool. The rules for the giveaway will be at the end of the video, so stick around till then before you leave a comment. On to the next book. You might not have heard about it, but you need to because it's awesome. It's Shakespeare's Star Wars Verily A New Hope. Now, I first watched the original Star Wars movies a long time ago as a kid, so I've been familiar with Star Wars basically my whole life. I've never been a rabid fan, I can't name any of the star systems, and I've never read any of the extra books. And I've only seen episodes 1 and 2. I haven't seen episode 3 yet of the new movies because I heard it sucked. But anyway, A New Hope I'm definitely familiar with, so I really enjoyed reading this book. Basically, it's episode 4, A New Hope, told completely in iambic pentameter, which basically means that one line is made of five pairs of two syllables, the emphasis on the second syllable. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Which is how Shakespeare wrote some of his stuff. Shakespeare, I read a couple of his works back in high school, so I was familiar enough with his iconic lines to get the inside references in this book. This is really funny, both in references to Shakespeare and to Star Wars, so if you're even a little bit familiar with both, I think that you'll enjoy it. It stays pretty darn close to the movie, except for a few spots, for the sake of adding a soliloquy here and there. Plus, of course, the dialogue is a little bit different since it is iambic pentameter. But it was really cool to hear some of the iconic dialogue. For example, Oh, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, help. Thou art my only hope. Etc. Plus, it has gorgeous illustrations throughout. So, overall, I just really liked this book. I really hope he does episodes 5 and 6 because they will be awesome. The writing is done really well and really hilariously. Even the gibberish speak of all the weird creatures and the beeping of R2-D2 is in iambic pentameter. I have nothing bad to say about this book. 
So on Twitter, I follow Quark Books, and they were doing a giveaway of a poster of this cover, and I was actually one of the winners. But then, they sent another copy of the book with the poster. So of course, I'm giving away this one too. So to enter to win the books, all you have to do is leave a comment below saying which book you want. If you want either of them, that's fine too. Just make it clear which one you want, or both. You can't win both books, but you will be entered for each of them if you want to. Then I will just pick one person for each book at random. And it's open internationally. I don't want to exclude anyone. If you win, I'll send you a message on here. And I will need a mailing address, so if you think you need parental permission, make sure you have it. I promise I won't stalk you or anything. Since I am frequently way behind in my subscriptions, I'm going to leave this giveaway open for three weeks. You will only be counted once for each book, so multiple comments won't do you any good. And I want to make it fair for everyone. So that's it. This is my first giveaway. I hope you like it. And I hope you check out these books. Bye!